Hey, it's Michael Bungay Stenyi here from Box of Crayons. Look, three more great people sharing their one best question with you. A question I'll ask clients if they're brainstorming or if they're stuck on something or if they're telling me their, their story. It's like, well, what else you got? What other stories do you have? What other ways are there of seeing this? What else could you come up with? You know, the thing about the well is it's bottomless. You can go back as many times as you like. So unless you come up with something that you love, it's, it's time to go back to the well. It's time to turn to another blank page. So what else you got? It's, it's just a, an easy way of kind of staying in inquiry, staying in that experience of wonder until you come up with something wonderful. And, and it's a question I ask myself all the time, particularly, funnily enough, about my own thoughts, my own perspectives. So if I come up with a really kind of a, a, a you know, bleak outlook on life, I'll ask myself, well, what else you got? How else can you see this? What else you got? And it's amazing how often my, my mind will, will bring something wonderful to mind. One of my favorite questions is, what if what is happening right now is exactly what is supposed to be happening? Because that question always shifts me out of resistance and back into the present moment, out of my head, and into curiosity to see what's really going on. My go-to question is, who or what will it serve? Who or what will it serve? Now, this question helps me frame a difficult decision or how I want to spend my time, first against my core values and principles, and then second against my personal and or my professional goals and aspirations. Now, I think that too often we find ourselves reacting to issues in the moment or to other people's priorities and sometimes therefore fail to ensure that this decision or this time is in service to what is truly important. So by taking a moment to reflect and ask this question, who or what will it serve? You can give yourself clarity and help to ensure, at least most of the time, that your efforts are serving the truly important rather than just simply what is urgent. So there you have it, three brilliant new questions for you. Now, if you'd like a little more, download our report, Three Essential Coaching Habits for the Time Crunch Manager, at our website, boxofcrayons.biz, B-I-Z or B-I-Z. And if you're really keen, you can submit your own question to the series. There's information about that on the website as well.